Hello everybody, in this video I'll show you how to solder a Traxxas connector, but first a couple of general points. Solder fumes are bad news, always work in a well ventilated area or use an extractor fan. A key point for soldering is you want to tin both the things you are joining with a bit of solder first. This is a key step that many people, including myself, didn't know when they first started. If you're soldering a connector to a battery, only work with one wire at a time to avoid the chance of short circuiting and damaging something or hurting yourself. Double check your polarity before plugging your newly soldered connectors in. This can save you many dollars. For this job, you're going to need your connectors, a soldering iron and solder. We recommend using one millimeter diameter 6040 tin to lead multi-core solder. If you're using heat shrink, a heat gun or hairdryer and a pair of scissors are also helpful. A bench vise and a pair of pliers make life easy too. And if you value your eyes, don't forget the safety glasses. All right, let's get onto it. Using wire strippers, you want to take about 5mm of the silicone insulating cover off. I then like to twist the wires together to make it neater and ensure there are no rogue wire strains. With Traxxas connectors, it doesn't matter what contact you do first, but I'm an optimist, so we'll start with the positive. When you're soldering a wire to a connector, like a Deans or Traxxas connector, generally you will melt a generous amount of solder onto the wire and put only a slight amount on the contact. This is especially true for Traxxas style connectors, as if you go past the tab on the contact, they simply won't go properly into the housing. This is also why I like to have the contact sloping down at about a 30 degree angle in the vise. It stops the solder from spreading too far up. Whether you're doing an ESC or battery connector will dictate what side of the contact tab you're soldering your wires onto. For female, battery connectors, you'll want to tin the top of the contact the side with the bevel. For a male, ESC connector, tin the bottom. Whichever it is, you want the beveled edge, the part that touches the other contact, to be facing out. I like to then rotate the wire 180 degrees when soldering the wire onto the contact, as this will push all the extra solder down and form a better connection, or join. Using a small flathead screwdriver, push the contact into the back of the connector housing until it clicks in securely. Now onto the negative, which is the same process as the positive that we just did. Strip the wire, twist the wire, coat the wire with solder. Add some solder to the negative contact. Join them together by adding heat. Push the contact into the housing. Double check that you've got the polarities around the right way. Traxxas connectors have a little plus and minus symbol on them. And that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to Trax ask them in the comments.